Hey everybody. Hi everybody, how are you today? I hope you're enjoying the day and we are on location here in New Madrid. How many of you have heard of the city called New Madrid? You may know it more as the, the um, fault line. <laughs> it's the New Madrid Fault. Have you heard of that place before? Well, we are right here in it. And so- The house that you see behind us is the Hunter Dawson house. This house was started in 1859 and it was completed in 1860. And it, this house was built after the earthquake that hit here that's known all around the world. That earthquake hit between December 6th on 1811 and up into, I believe it was April of 1812. There were three quakes that hit and they were very powerful. They registered anywhere from, the estimates are anywhere from 7.5 to 8.3 on the Rector scale. So anyway, you know, not too long ago, it's been a few years back, we felt, you know, we live, what, maybe 30 minutes away, and we felt like, like a four point, um, I was at the house by myself, and I start hearing the rumble, and, you know, felt the, uh, felt the house shake a little bit and I think you, you felt it again like the the aftershock yeah this is well this has actually been probably more than 20 years well it's been longer than that because I was working a job so it's well, been I don't over, even know it's been probably 30 plus years ago 30 35 years ago when this happened and it was 4.6 on the rector scale that we felt I Debbie was at home and she said she felt it there I couldn't feel it where I was because I was working between some machinery but they felt it in the front office when I got home that night, I was eating. She was at church. She left me supper uh, warmed up in the oven, and I got it out, and I was sitting at the table, and all of a sudden, the windows started rattling, and I could feel it, and it was kind of an eerie feeling. So, you know, I was thinking about today is the first day of December. That's why I'm popping the red today. The first day of December. Can you believe that? And We're so, Christmas. yeah, so when you say first, it means the beginning of something new. Now, we, I know we've got an old house behind us, but the first is the beginning of something new. And so the town was called Madrid before the earthquake hit. And then the name was changed to New Madrid. And so we're gonna talk about, but we're gonna talk about the fault line, yeah. okay? And so- um, And you may be asking yourself the question, how does a fault line Excuse me, I'm going to scoot up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> you may be asking yourself the question is, well, what's a fault line got to do with us? I want you to think about this. We all have faults, right? Right. The scripture said that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And those fault lines that run through our life, just like the fault line here in the heartland yes. of America, if it's not, if, if it's let go, and, you know, thankfully we can, we can take our fault line to Jesus. But if we don't do that, then we end up with kind of like what happened here. And that pressure just builds up and builds up until finally, man, it breaks and there's a fissure and it causes all kinds of devastation. You know, it caused the Mississippi River to run backwards. And then I never understood that before. Well, thank you. Go ahead. Think about it like this. If you see this and this is the river, right? The riverbed in my hands are the land that's under the river. Yeah. And then when that hit, all of a sudden it broke up like that. And so it caused that part of the river to go back and it flowed back for several hours. And then it finally started coming back the other way and it, it eased off and literally made another route around and, lit, and it caused two waterfalls in the Mississippi for a period of time until it finally eroded that ground down and it, it started a new course for the river. Well, and the word fault in the Greek means a side slip. Everybody say side slip. It's a flaw or an imperfection. And so sometimes we, we can experience that in our life and we have that, I like how you said that, you know, there's that line that can run, it runs in us, in our, in our flesh and, and it's that imperfections and those, those, those flaws. That's in our DNA. Yeah, we exactly. We inherited that from Adam. But you know what, I, I thought about this house because it's known, they, I mean, they advertise it as, that it's haunted. Well, you they know, don't advertise that, baby. I thought they did. They used to. No, they do. I, I saw it. <laughs> okay. I saw All it in, right, in so. the historical writing. But what the reason 
I wanted to say sometimes the ha the you know the uh, fault something that we that's happened you know that we failed we side slipped and then it begins to haunt us right you know and Absolutely. you know so that's the correlation that it that it begins to you know the enemy would try to bring it up in our face like man you know you really you really side slipped you slipped you know you really messed up and so that's what happens he begins and it's like a continual taunting you know like you know i could never go back or i could never get it right after you know everybody knows about it or whatever and so um they well, can visit us habitually okay you know in other words it's just always the enemy would try to uh torment us with that you think about the devastation that sin causes in our life and and just on the surface of things and then we beat ourselves up yes. over it and we don't take it to the only one that can heal it that can redeem us which is christ but let me talk to you about the practical sense of this and compare the natural to the spiritual because in the natural sense when that when that earthquake hit here it caused devastation it caused we're in the heartland of yes america in missouri here and it caused church bells ring in Boston. Wow. James Madison and his really? wife, Dolly Madison, felt this quake wow. at the White House. I didn't know that. And it, it, it just, it devastated everything. Yes. There was, you know, we talked, I, we had a message just recently called Signs and Seasons. And before this quake hit, there was a comet that came through that people saw. And that comet had not been seen since Ramses the second ruled in Egypt so you're talking My about goodness. around the time of Moses and it's just it's incredible how God is able to take things that can devastate us and then turn it around yeah and and create something new this now like you talked about this is new madrid it's old things are passed away and all things become new. Well, first I want to talk about, you mentioned a scripture today that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We've all experienced faults in our life, but it's what we do with it. And so our uh, our scripture today, one of them is Galatians 6 and 1. Okay, so what do we do first when somebody else um, makes a mistake? You know, when your kids and, you know, you were scuffling with one another and then you get in trouble and you'll say, well, it was their fault. Yeah. It was their fault. And we were quick to blame someone else. And so what do we do when somebody else makes a fault? You know, and so Galatians 6 and 1 says, um, brethren, if you see a man overtaken in a fault, you which are spirit spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. The, and so how do we, you know, when they're that's overtaken. That's the same way the city's been restored. Yeah, so when you're overtaken, it means to catch up with. To, it's a surprise attack. Have you ever had a surprise attack? That it's like, man, how did that happen? How did I get myself into the situation? It was a surprise attack. So, But if you see someone else that had that surprise attack, what is our response to them and so when he said restore such a one in the spirit of meekness it means to mend them and join together you know we don't keep them at arms arms length but we encourage them don't right. we and so um, what is our response when uh, when they fall but then what is our response when we fall or when we yeah when we experience that fault James 5 and 16 says confess your faults one to another and pray one for another um, that you may be healed and so he says, in the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. And so when, whenever it's from your heart and you, you confess it, you confess that fault. You know what? What is God's response to your fault? When we ask him, he forgives us. And so um, anyway, that's what I was thinking is, is that how our response, you know, what do we do? Do we just keep beating ourselves up or do we say, God, you know, I, I give this to you. I release this to you and I acknowledge it. So that's, you know, when we confess it, that means I'm acknowledging it. Well, yeah, we also have to turn uh, away from it, right? We don't keep doing the same thing over and over. But what you have to be careful about, and we're talking about faults, a fault line here, faults in our own lives because like I said earlier we've inherited that and it's only through Christ that we can be redeemed from it but what happens oftentimes is we allow instead of taking that to Jesus we allow those faults to stop us and literally we start moving backwards you know and, and we're, we're headed in the wrong direction you can't allow yeah, that like to that happen. river yeah, yeah that Besides river started the... flowing backwards now here's something a lot of people aren't aware of he said when that earthquake hit 
the first steamship had been launched in the Mississippi River, and it was it was making its way. It had started in Pittsburgh. It was making its way to New Orleans, but then as it was coming back up, it was literally headed for the epicenter of the earthquake, wow. and they didn't realize it. And when it hit, they were protected in the water because they weren't on ground. So they were protected from the shaking, but there was all the debris, all the trees that were oh. falling became a problem. So it's not just, look, when we sin, it doesn't just affect us, yeah. it affects everything around us, man. Tree, I mean, trees had fallen in. People literally thought the steamship had caused the earthquake. Indians got into the river and were what? chasing it down river because they thought that fire boat had caused the earthquake to happen. They never experienced anything like that. And so they they headed in and that steamship stopped. It, it came by Madrid and saw it was completely destroyed. Madrid at the time. Madrid. Yeah. And saw that it was completely There's destroyed. There's a reason. I guess and they that kept was... moving. Somebody say that with me. Keep moving. Keep you, moving. You can't stop. You've got to keep moving. They ended up, they, they tied off on an island and the island sunk that night. It disappeared oh from, my from that quake. The earth literally opened up. There were people who they never found because the earth opened up and they fell into those crevices, those fissures, and they were lost. I'm telling you, we're safe in his hands. So when yes. the fault hits, we don't want to try and run away from it. We want to run toward right. Jesus. He's our hope. He's our anchor and our stronghold in that time. And as long as we're anchored in him, we'll be safe. That's right. And so what I thought was interesting, remember it was first called Madrid. And in the word Madrid is the word rid, R-I-D. And so in order to experience the new, remember this is the first day of December, the beginning of something new is what it means. In order to experience something new, we always have to let go of the old. Right. And so they changed the name to New Madrid. Not only, now that word is in there, so that rid is in that sec, it's just spelled the same way, but it's pronounced differently. And so that fault that took place in your life, can, there's a scar there, there's that line, that fault line, yeah. but it represents the event now and not the pain. So you can reach in and help somebody else up that has fallen, you can pick them up. And I love this verse here in um, um, Jude 1 and 24, he says, now unto him, who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. And it doesn't mean, you know, he say, he's able to keep you. You know, he's able to warn us. Even, right. you know, we can get ourselves, you know, in, in a situation, you know, but he's able to protect us even from falling. One of the things you have to remember is that the, there are people that still live here. There's over, there's, the population here is over 3,000 people. And you would think after an experience like that, that this Why place, would they still live here? Why, yeah. why would they want, exactly. why would they want to come here? But you can't live your life in fear. Mm -hmm. That the, the fault is still here, it's under the ground. It's still present. Just like that, that sinful nature yes. is still present, but it's covered by the blood. And I think about what Paul said when Paul was on his way to Jerusalem and people were trying to stop him from going and you know but Paul knew that he had to keep moving forward and he told them he said none of these things move me yes. neither count I my life dear unto myself that I might finish my course with joy look there's one sure thing in this life and that's Jesus and I'm not going to allow all the shadows and right. all the all the hauntings of yesterday yes. and, and the things that try and grab our attention and but but pastor what happens if you if, if the earth opened up what would happen Rick if if all of a sudden the earth opened up and you're swallowed by it I'm going home to be with Jesus that earth is not gonna hold me there's a song that says no graves gonna hold my body right. now. We, yeah Go we ahead. can't let the enemy and envelop us you know, with the fault of yesterday, we've got to get back up, brush yourself off, accept the forgiveness of God and understand that he loves you as if it never happened. I've heard you preach about the, you know, the chalkboard before, how, yeah. you know, he, he erases it and it's, it's like it never happened, you know? And so he, he, he just makes, he makes it a clean slate all over again. But you know what? That, even though that fault line, we don't, we don't activate it. We, we try not to, and if we do, he so, said, little children don't right. sin, but, and if you do. He said, you have an advocate with the Father through Christ Jesus our Lord. 
And so that's the important thing is to remember, look, he's bigger than our faults. There's a song that said, he looked beyond my fault that's right. and he saw my need. Aren't you glad he did that for you? Let's pray together right now. Father, we're Thank thankful, you, God, for your love and your mercy that you have for us. And God, we recognize, God, that we all have faults, Father. We've all sinned. But in the midst of that, Lord, you sent your son to yes. free us. Jesus, we thank you for the price you paid to free us from death. God, to rescue us, God, from the fall. We pray today, God, for those that are watching and ask God that you create something new in yes, them. Yes, yes. Let, let, let all the old feelings, the depressions, Father Lord, the fears pass away yes, from them, Jesus. God. Yes. Let them know that it's a new day and we have new hope and new life in you. Yes. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. You know, I wanted to say this too. That <laughs> I know you're <laughs> But the fact is, before they could have New Madrid, they had to bury Madrid. They had to, you know, they had to bury the old city. You know, they, they ha you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, well, they, it happened they in an instant. In yeah. order to experience the new, they had to bury the old. And it happens for us in an That's instant right. when we come and give our hearts to him. Look, we want to thank the uh, department here that allowed the us Hunter to come Dawson on House, property yeah. and film today. We appreciate it them allowing us to do that and we want to encourage you to come and visit They're, they'll be back open up for business we they have a website they, they, they think in february but they've got a website so come check them out we love you guys have a great we day love you guys and remember it's a new day in yes. jesus amen bye-bye